detail-oriented royal watchers will have observed that resting on top of the flowers on Queen Elizabeth's coffin was a small note. But who was it from, and what did it say? Watch the video above, Queen's final journey past Buckingham Palace. For more royal family-related news and videos check out Royal Family The card placed on top of the Queen's coffin, alongside the flowers, was written in King Charles III's hand and read, in loving and devoted memory. Charles R. The R stands for Rex, the first time the new king has used Charles Rex as his signature. Queen Elizabeth II signed her documents Elizabeth Regina, Regina being Latin for Queen as Rex is Latin for King. The note was placed amid a colorful wreath for the late monarch that Buckingham Palace said contained, at Charles' request, rosemary, English oak and myrtle, which had been cut from a plant grown from myrtle used in Elizabeth's wedding bouquet. There were also gold, pink, burgundy and white flowers cut from the gardens of royal residences. Royals and heads of state from around the world gathered at London's Westminster Abbey on Monday morning for the state funeral for Elizabeth, the United Kingdom's longest-serving monarch, who died on September 8, aged 96. The wreath on the Queen's coffin was highly personal. The arrangement included flowers cut at King Charles' request from the gardens of various royal residences, including Buckingham Palace, Clarence House, and Highgrove House. The wreath included sprigs of rosemary for remembrance, scented pelargoniums, garden roses, hydrangea and dahlias, in a pink, gold, burgundy and white palette to reflect the colors of the royal standard on which they rest, according to Buckingham Palace. Loading tweed English oak, representing the strength of love, and myrtle, symbol of happy marriage, were also featured in the arrangement. The myrtle used in the wreath was quite literally one grown from a sprig of the myrtle carried in Princess Elizabeth's marriage to Prince Philip in 1947, five years before she became queen. Elizabeth and Philip were married for 73 years. Philip died in April last year at the age of 99. With Reuters. And finally, thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together. Don't forget to subscribe. Press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.